the the other thing I wanted to ask, and this is this is a big one, and this is gonna track through the whole episode, so don't don't feel like you gotta like spill it all out here. But is there anything viscerally that you can say that you just you absolutely love about Woods' music that's really just like visceral to you? Um, besides like ha besides like the complexities that we're gonna obviously get through and like the when we get into the actual work. Billy Woods doesn't rap so much as he like proclaims. I feel like on so many of his best what like his best verses um it's it's you know almost transcendental in, in the way that he you know even though he uses very kind of um you know avant-garde imagery and, and is very very quick to to kind of um elude meaning uh you know without further or deeper reading and in a lot of cases just a lot of theory um but I mean, his voice and his delivery is just so like, yeah, evocative and, and just every verse sounds like a, a proclamation at the top of the hill kind of kind of thing. And I think that was my immediate kind of uh, sticking point for Woods. I, <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I, I think he is one of the most unique voices in all of art. And I see him as a, a tremendously important voice in the noise of popular culture. I think he just says some of the dopest shit, but also offers a deep and profound analysis of social conditions, both historical and existential. To me, he's he's first and foremost just a radical artist. And I mean that in the sense of like radical liberatory politics, um, insurgency and counterculture. To me, he's graffiti. Um, I'm not talking about like street art murals. I'm talking about actual graffiti and going out and bombing and bombing is the ne least neoliberalized and commodified of the four elements of hip hop culture. First off, it's illegal. Most people don't like it. Most people can't read it. Uh, they don't get it, but there is a rich kind of uh, tradition of history, ethics and politics associated with it. Graffiti offers like a, a little color and individualism to like the drab cityscape of hyper advertising it's subversive and it reminds us um that these places are ours and graffiti is both lowbrow and highbrow art so in the tradition of like new york graffiti and rap he's in that lineage of great artists uh put up dope words make them your own freak the style make people think add a message rep your people beat the shit out of haters and toys um, and do it in the illest way possible. To me, he is a very visual artist uh, that is very visceral. He paints pictures and scenes. Uh, I've called him the king of vignettes. Like the, the some of the some of the approaches and verses that he makes are just so artistic. Like you can compare it to um, actual visual scenes and and imagine the smash cuts and the changes of perspective and the little details that he'll put in. Just adding seeing a rhododendron on the side of this experience he's having that gospel versus a movie you know it, it is it is just something that's so incredible to me he's a visual artist a vandal a radical guy and he even hides his face like a vandal you know he, he he's he's hidden he's a mystery but unlike graffiti which is very ephemeral and often taken down by by um you know, the buff people cleaning the graffiti or people hating it. Unlike graffiti, he's going to last a long time. He, he, his, his music is about survival and he evokes that feeling in me. He, he evokes, he evokes like a deep black lens that just embodies what I call the black radical tradition. You know, um, I can, I feel like I'm talking for a long time, but I, I could go on. No, we'll, we'll do plenty of that today. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> no, man, that's great. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quote uh, Caltrops Press for for my answer. Um, for those who aren't familiar, Caltrops Press is a zine, um, a labor of love. Yeah, there you go. I got my I got mine. I just got too. another package in the mail from him yesterday. Nice, nice. All the way out to Tokyo. I love it. He's a man um, for sure. Um, definitely a labor of love that has produced you know uh, a few accompanying zines to backwards projects in the past. Um, I don't even know if he calls them zines. I'm just gonna call them that. Um, I recommend everyone follow Caltrops Press on socials. I'll link those in the show notes. I encourage people to try and score one of these if you can. Just reach out direct. It's just what you know, one person operation. Um, they're really beautiful works of art. You'll pick them up and just dive right into them. I have the Aethiop scene, um, which is titled "A Skeleton Key to Billy Woods." Uh, Billy Woods is Aethiops, but there's a quote in there 
that I love. Um, and, and it's about Ethiopes, but it's really just about woods. Um, and, and, and the quote is, wood stands on the quayside, staring into the sea, looking forward and back to the future and former. His eyes as broad as the lens of Herschel's great telescope, as Melville might say. Come to think about it, Woods is an MC looking out like Big Daddy Kane on Raw and ODB thereafter, but not in a nervous sense. He's been patient, waiting till the sea calm. I'm like, oh, that's it. I love yeah. that. You know, you know, an artist is on top when when it can, you know, they can inspire that level of writing from a fan, right? Man, I, and I, I haven't. That's where I first heard about him for the from the skeleton key for Ethiopes, and um, just looking into the work, uh, like I wish I was doing these type of deep dives like him he is just tremendous i've got the uh the itinerary for non-places which is his work on kenny siegel's and billy wood's maps and mm -hmm. i'll probably read something out of that later when we're discussing that album but he is he's doing the work he's radical he ties it into so many things it is uh, i i don't have the words to describe how incredible his writing and his insight is for these pieces of work just great, phenomenal work. Please check out Caltrops Press. For real. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a few points during this where we'll probably be shouting out other sort of like content that is being made in uh, in response and uh, of Woods' stuff. And, and it's really cool just to see how much high quality, like labored over content is out there like already. So, you know, that's why we take this seriously. Um you know, body of work produces, you know, other other responses. Um, I'll say I also just think Woods' lyricism is 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 very unencumbered. That's what I love about it. His rapping spans times, it spans history, culture, locations, switches perspectives. Um, as someone who ha who also has interest in like revolutionary movements like you guys, you know, I got interest in like cuisine from around the world. Um, I have interest in in um you know, philosophy, you know, whether you catch these references or not, you have like 10 rabbit holes to go down just listening to a couple Woods tracks. That's, yeah. um, it's, it's, it's incredible that, yeah. It's clear cool. that he reads and, you know, like it, it's clear that he reads and he's well read, but also, um, a buddy of mine who, uh, Tracy Jones, who put out an album with, uh, Uncommon Records, several several years back they re-release it but who was also a writer here in tokyo for a time he said that um and 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 i should preface this by saying i've never really watched the woods interview i've never read his interviews so i don't really know his you know deeper socialist tendencies or anything like that other than what i get from the music but you know he said he was a writer and editor for some large um uh outlets media outlets uh hip-hop outlets music outlets so um yeah, it, it's clear that this man reads. He's just there's so much going on in his work. For real, and and I think one thing I'd like to dispel with this episode, anyway, is the idea that Woods's music is impenetrable. Um, I don't think that's true at all. Um, and even if you're not like the type to sit and listen deeply to m the music and like follow along um, to to the lyrics, like Woods is the type of artist who will make you subvert those tendencies even if you don't end up doing that for like other art like i've noticed myself with like doing that as well it's not always something that i want to do there, there's something about his stuff that just makes you want to follow along and 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 sparks curiosity um and 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 a, and a yearning to like understand the deeper meaning too